today we are going to learn some other methods that is there as part of the collector class okay so uh, till now we have studied a uh, bunch of methods right uh, so i can say uh, if i this see this one like to list to map uh, to set all these things we have already seen and uh, collect collectors dot joining and the overloaded methods we have seen okay as part of this so today we are going to see uh, I will explain like uh, how we can make use of the partitioning by so today we are going to learn partitioning by for example let me tell you uh, some some info regarding this partitioning by what it will do partitioning by means what partition means what partition means separate okay so similarly we have this list we have this list uh, having some elements so we want to partition do some partition if in general if someone will ask you partition something what you understood then so partitioning means you will partition you will ask uh, next thing you will what you ask you will ask i will do the partition but uh, on what condition like if i want to do partition half or one by fourth for example uh, uh, someone has given one sticks right so the person told that partition these sticks into uh, two pieces like one is one uh, one portion and another one is like uh, two times uh, maybe it may be one one by fourth so one is uh, like okay uh, so what you have to do based on the condition whatever the person has told based on that you are doing the partition uh, according to the like uh, whatever this he has asked okay similarly in collector class what you have to do you have to do the partition based on some condition condition here is nothing but uh, we called in the java 8 it is a predicate right condition is predicate so similar things uh, the same thing we are going to work with the uh, java 8 okay so how i can write first what i'll do uh, list i will try i will try to create the stream out of this list then i will collect i uh, i will collect the elements of this stream based on some partition uh, i will collect uh, by partitioning uh, and what are the predicate uh, what is the predicate we are going to pass that uh, we are just going to provide okay so i what i want i want to do partitioning so i will that is the method partitioning by method is the uh, method of collectors class okay so collectors dot partitioning partitioning by as you can see there are two types of partitioning two overloaded methods of partitioning by okay one will take predicate and another will take one predicate and the downstream downstream also is nothing but a collector uh, collectors okay that i am i am going to show with example no need to worry so let me uh, take this partitioning by okay what it is expecting it is expecting one uh, predicate okay predicate for example we want to partition this list based on the uh, based on the string length string length the string which is having the length greater than 3 for the time being okay so let me take the string as s and uh, i can uh, i can associate with the lambda right because what i what we can do instead of writing the predicate so what we can do we can write the lambda expressions right here okay so this is the predicate s s dot s dot uh, okay s dot length s dot length which is greater than three okay so that the predicate is the string whose length is greater than three that we want to collect by partitioning partitioning means we will call it will make the whole list into two partition one is based on this uh, predicate and uh, whoever uh, and other things other than this predicate that means uh, it will make greater than three is the true this the, the return type of this is a map of boolean and uh, list so what it will do whoever the element matches this predicate that will come under the true that is the one category and other one is the false okay let me introduce the uh, local variable so that you will get to under, uh, uh, so that you will be uh, so that you will understand that okay uh, so okay so as you can see this is the boolean and this is the uh, list of string okay uh, yeah okay let me print that now collect uh, three okay let me comment this one you will get much code and I will okay. now it's looking good uh, this is the 
uh, now it is looking good uh, this is the string and this is the uh, things we are uh, con concentrating now okay so what we have done we have just partitioned by based on this uh, predicate okay so what it will do it will just partition based on the uh, true uh, true one group the which matches this predicate and another one is false okay let me try to run this and show you the output once this this is uh, we have seen then we will work on the overloaded method okay okay so as you can see this is the true this is this is the predicate of string greater than length greater than three this is the these are the all the element that is the uh, length greater than three this is true this is one group and this is the false that is another group so it is partition based on the predicate okay so i hope this is this is understood by you right so okay so let me now work with the uh, another overloaded method of the partitioning by if you want to work with the partitioning uh, or any kind of uh, uh, any kind of collector class methods then if you want another uh, another criteria or something then in that case we are going to use the downstream right downstream of collector class okay so for that what we are going to do let me write uh, same list dot stream uh, dot collect and here i will use the collectors dot partitioning by partitioning by here i just wanted to take the same string same string s dot length length greater than three this is the one one parameter and another one is if i pass then this is the downstream i'm going to uh, provide okay collectors so what my intention is i i just wanted to uh, partition the string first i will partition the string based on the uh, predicate and then i just wanted to perform some other action then for that what we have to provide we have to provide one dynamic stream of type collector collector dot i just i want to count how many elements we got uh, the way this one greater than three so how many elements one two three four five so it should be true equals to five and false equal to four this kind of partition we are going to do now okay so let me call this counting so what it will do it will uh, partition based on this overloaded method okay so okay. let me okay let me print this one this is the collect okay now let me run this so that we will get to know what we are getting actually what we have done we are partitioning by the length and just we are counting uh, how many elements are there okay so this is as you can see this is the first uh, only the predicate and this is the predicate with uh, the downstream okay so false is four elements and the uh, true is five element the count we are getting okay so out of this if you want to uh, collect uh, the elements based on the key that also you can do uh, you just need to perform this is a map right so how to iterate the map and get the uh, key that you can do okay let me uh, recap these things so what we have understood today today we have seen two uh, one method by partitioning by of collectors class that uh, two overloaded methods we have seen okay what it will do it will take one predicate based on the predicate it will partition whatever the stream we have that it will partition based on the predicate whatever we will pass other things we can do we can uh, partition based on the predicate and then if you perform some other kind of other operation then we have to use the make use of the downstream that is a collectors uh, 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 collectors uh, that is the type of collectors downstream right so you here specifically we have performed the count we have counted how many numbers of element that is there after the partitioning okay that we have checked okay that's all for this video so in the next class we are going to study uh, some other methods as part of this collectors class okay thank you